Okay. Good afternoon, guys. Um, nice to meet everyone. Uh, if you've not seen me before, thanks for clicking on my video today. And uh, thanks for giving me your time, your attention. Um, my name is Odulong Alexander Kosungu. Um, I was born in Cameroon. I'm a Cameroonian American. Um, and uh, this video is really just to, you know, make a public announcement, make a claim and put it in the public space. Um, telling the world essentially that uh, I, I'm the man that has solved a problem that um, has been fleeting and humanity has been trying to figure this out for a very long time. Uh, going back to ancient philosophers, ancient scholars, coming all the way to, you know, the contemporary academics uh, of today, uh, the Einsteins, the Paul Dirac's, the Stephen Hawkins, etc., etc., and essentially, this problem is: how does everything in nature operate? Um, you know, if we were to formalize a theory, or if we were to, you know, have an equation that explained how everything in nature, from the celestial level from the astronomical level all the way down to the atomic subatomic quantum level and even beyond that um how do we reconcile the macroscopic and the microscopic how do we unify how everything in nature operates from the smallest things in nature to the biggest things in nature you know and this is the question that has you know, kept a lot of people busy, you know, for their entire lives. Uh, a lot of academics spend their entire lives trying to figure this out, trying to formalize some theory, some equation that explained how everything in nature emerged, how they interact with each other, and how they evolve over time. Um, and we've had many theories in the past going all the way back to ancient times and a lot of academics uh, gained a lot of fame uh, after formalizing theories that gave us a glimpse of how you know systems work at certain levels you know einstein became very famous for giving us his theories uh, of relativity and and, and and our current understanding of space time um we have schrodinger we have a lot of academics that made a contribution, but one thing that they did not accomplish was to discover or formalize a theory or formalize some equation that gave us a total understanding of nature uh, from the large to the small. And I believe that I'm the man that has accomplished that. I believe that me, Otilongu, the Cameroonian born self taught philosopher, has figured this out. And this video today is to put this into the world to let you guys know that uh, despite the notion that you need a PhD or some sort of you know, uh, academic pedigree to, 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 to figure this out. I believe that I have figured this, this out. I believe that I have formalized an abstraction, an equation that gives us a total understanding of all aspects of nature, how everything in nature emerged how they interact with each other and how they evolve over time. This means that this one abstraction would give us an understanding of the celestial realm, 
the quantum realm and even the social realm because this is the same abstraction that governs how systems human systems biological systems interact with each other um this is known as the theory of everything and i believe that i have formalized the first complete and consistent theory of everything I wrote a book, I wrote a book about a year ago called Intelligent Systems, if you can see here, Intelligent Systems, a unified intelligence theory, look at the back. And in this book, I attempted to elaborate on this new abstraction. And I tried my best to, you know, um, reconcile this with the current language that academia uses to understand nature uh which would be mathematics and physics etc etc uh despite my attempt uh some people found it difficult to comprehend what i was trying to uh convey some thought it was genius and made perfect sense and others thought it was absolute rubbish which is fine with me um but I believe that despite the perceived complexity of nature, uh, the equation of what governs everything in nature is rather simple. It's not some obscure equation that can only be deciphered by academics at Harvard, Oxford, you know, or some, some institution with a group of specialized people that are the only ones that can comprehend this. What I discovered, guys, was that this abstraction, this law of nature, if you can call it that, is digestible by everyone. It is so simple that even a child can understand this. It's a very simple equation. And with this simple equation, I am willing to make the claim today that this simple equation is the equation that can be used to create an entire universe. From this simple symbolic abstraction, we can create and destroy. This is considered the law of nature. How does everything in nature operate? at all levels. And today I'm making this claim. I published a paper, another paper uh, a couple months ago, titled Dimensional Complexity and Algorithmic Efficiency. You can look it up. It's spelled, it's called Dimensional Complexity and Algorithmic Efficiency, where I used the terminology, the language of um, computer science to demystify complexity and formalize the equation in a way that computer scientists can comprehend. But this equation, like I said, can be digested by anyone. It is so simple. And I believe that this is the theory of everything. And I'm making the claim today. So guys, please go read my paper. Go check it out. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.